Hi, I'm Tony. Good landscaping helps make yards more appealing. And just like anything else, landscaped areas need occasional maintenance to look their best. In the next few minutes, we'll show you how a few hours, some basic tools and materials, and a little elbow grease can spruce up a landscape feature like this one. Weeds, freeze, thaw cycles, and overgrown or unhealthy plants are just a few factors that can wreak havoc on landscaping. In this case, we have a rock bed that has old landscape fabric underneath. While a good landscape fabric, installed correctly and covered with a couple inches of rock, can help prevent most weeds for a number of years, in time the fabric starts to deteriorate. Leaves, dirt, and debris will tend to collect in the crevices around the rocks and begin to break down. Weed seeds inevitably find their way into the mix and eventually you'll start to see weeds growing. Replacing the landscape fabric will require some labor, but the payoff will be a lot less routine weeding for several years. The first thing we need to do is move the rock out of the way. A square point shovel, such as a scoop shovel or this coal shovel, comes in handy for this task. We're loading the rocks into a wheelbarrow and dumping them onto a tarp. Rocks are extremely heavy, so be sure to use proper lifting techniques and avoid filling the wheelbarrow too full. With as many rocks as possible scooped up, we're picking up the old landscape fabric and staples. We're also removing the last of the rocks by hand to give us a nice flat surface for the new fabric. This helps prevent fabric tears and it should help you avoid accidentally kneeling on a staple or a stray rock. For extra protection and to make kneeling more comfortable, you may want to wear some gardening knee pads. Depending on your landscaping, part of your routine maintenance may involve repairing or replacing edging. For instance, sometimes freeze thaw cycles will shift edging out of place. Or in the case of this rock bed, the large rocks that originally edged it looked nice, but mowing and weeding around them was difficult and time consuming. Before we install the new landscape fabric, we're going to replace those rocks with beveled trench edging, maintaining the existing curved bed shape. Beveled trench edging gives landscaping a neat, well manicured look. As with any digging project, it's important to call 811, the national call before you dig number, a few weekdays before you start so your utility companies can mark the approximate locations of any underground lines. To learn more, visit call811.com. To dig the edging by hand, you can use a manual turf edger or a flat bladed spade. Begin by cutting the outside edge straight down, about four or five inches should do it. Then remove the turf to create a gradual slope from the grass edge up into the bed. If you have a lot of edging to dig, you may want to use a power edger that can cut beveled trenches, as we are doing. If you use a power edger, wear eye protection and follow the manufacturer's usage and safety instructions. To keep trench edging looking neat, it needs to be refreshed every once in a while. Just rake the rocks or mulch out of the way, use a lawn edger to tidy up the edge, then rake everything back into place. With the edging dug, we're ready to install the new landscape fabric. We estimated the area of our rock bed first to determine how much fabric and how many boxes of landscape staples to buy. If the fabric has a fuzzy side, that side goes against the soil surface. Lay out the fabric to cover the entire bed all the way to the edges. If the bed is much longer than it is wide, unroll the fabric along the length of the bed to minimize the number of separate pieces needed. Overlap each piece by at least three or four inches to prevent weeds from springing up in between. Since we have a tree in the middle of our bed, we're cutting a hole just big enough for the trunk. If you're cutting holes to accommodate existing plants or add new ones, you may eventually need to enlarge the holes to give the plants more room. Secure the fabric with staples, spacing them about one foot apart. Staple at each corner, along each edge, and along every overlap. With that done, our next step is to return the rocks to the bed. If your rocks are really dirty, you may want to hose them off before putting them back. Digging the new edging made our rock bed just a little bit bigger, so we're adding a few more bags of rock to build it up to a depth of a couple inches. Put these tips to work on your landscaping to help keep it looking neat and attractive. I'm Tony, and I'll see you next time.